name is Michelle DiMasso. I am a theater arts manager of the North Berlin Park District 16th Street Children's Theater. Um, we've been working very hard for 12 weeks on the show. I'm very proud of all of them. If you can make sure your cell phones are turned off, uh, better than just silent. It is being recorded. I will share the link with families. And also, I took pictures of the dress rehearsal that I'll share with you. And after the show, the actors will come and sit on stage and we'll open it up for questions with the actors. So if you have any questions while you're watching or any comments at the end, we'll do that. And we'll also have time to take pictures. Okay? If you have candy, please unwrap it now. This, uh, the actors can hear you unwrap candy. So if you have anything you want to unwrap and hold your hand, go ahead and do it now. Without further ado, please enjoy Queen Sheena, all bow. Take a seat, monsters. She'll be a while. But it's dark though. I mean, it's really dark out. They definitely ate all the dinner. Why is she here? It's dark, it's late, it's night. What time is it? She should be here by now. Not Igor. I know, but do you know what time it is? She should be here by now. Is he always like this? Relax, Igor. She'll come. She'll be here. Sit down. No, no, no. You can't sit down. No, no. Too nervous. Igor, sit down before you make me throw up. <laughs> Thank you. You were saying? Yes, my name is Bianca Mozella Mozella Mozella. But people call me B. Among other things, I'm a journalist from the New York Times. As part of my weekly column, which I'm sure you all heard about, I introduced one high job pro profile to the general monster community. This week, I suggested I interview you. So, here I am. <laughs> what a week has been great timing. Pardon me? Right then. That was business. How long have you been frightening? Oh, we don't like to call it frightening. Instead, we prefer a selective awakening of young humans in order to adjust their unsatisfactory behavior. <laughs> We've been doing it for 102 years. <laughs> Ah, 102 years. My, my, don't you look good for your age. <laughs> As bedroom monsters, do you always use the closet? Oh, no, we each have our own specialties. You see, some monsters make night sounds to help humans get to sleep. Owls hooting, Ooh. frogs ribbing. Learn it, learn it. <laughs> do people hear chirping at night? <laughs> Those aren't crickets. <laughs> I like using closets, but Petra first prefers to work under the bed. Different specialties. Ew, Eeyore, stop chewing the nails. You're not a human. Sorry. <laughs> Under the bed? Yes. You know when parents get on their hands and knees and look into the dark spaces? Under the bed? There are acts me looking for me. Eeyore! Sorry. What are some of the toughest things you all do? Work quietly. There's a technique to it that most monsters don't realize it takes years to master. <laughs> now you try. Watching television or playing video games, now they're not scared of anything. 
our green monsters are always so busy. Every once in a while, a child becomes so spoiled that their behavior is simply atrocious. Ghastly. Awful. And when that happens, the parents need a little extra help. That's why we're here. See, people think we're just big, hairy, zombie lookalikes with our breasts. We eat children <laughs> for snacks and cute little animals for dessert. But we're not. Usually. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> We've been given a really bad rap. Don't even get me started on names. Monsters? Really? Ew. Good at have been called puppies or daisies or very, very pretty creatures with very nice teeth or fuzzy. Get yourself into the closet, Bianca! We've got company. She must come in with her little brother and an ugly 387. Another temper tantrum. I can't believe Mom's making me share my room with It's not my fault. Uncle Ross, Auntie Danny, they neighbor, and Tabby are sleeping over. Don't touch anything. I won't. I mean it, JJ. Don't touch anything. Don't breathe on anything. Don't even think of touching anything. It's all mine. JJ! <laughs> Like the 
today she broke mom's necklace. She was out there really special one when she tried on and she wasn't supposed to. And you know what? She's by me. I don't wear mom's stuff. And then she said, do it again. Forget you did. Mom is going to be really, really, really sad. Petra, Igor, would you care to listen to the rest of JJ's story? <laughs>
<laughs> Number three, how often do you s let other people have a turn before you? A, only B, sometimes they're C, only when they're scary. It's my turn. <laughs> when it's my turn. <laughs> Number four, how often do you hold the door for someone? A, always B, sometimes they're C, never. It would ruin my nail polish. <laughs> they should be able to open the door for themselves. Right, never then. <laughs> Number six. Number five. How often do you let help others without being asked? Always, sometimes, or never. That's what little brother here for. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, how would you rate yourself? A, pretty good. B, excellent. Or C, positively perfect. Everybody said perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, and your scores in. Yikes! On a scale of one to ten, on the politeness meter pool, you are a minus fifteen. <laughs> Want to change yet? Hmm, let's think about this. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> All right. Phase two. Igor. <laughs> future, future, come to me. Future, future. Let us see, we should be friendly or we should be mean. We should be as weird as a jumping <laughs> As weird as a jumping the monster from this is definitely no one in Shakespeare. I'm doing this my way. Once upon a time there was a girl named Chisla. The little brother Jesse said there was no meat. Of course he was not since he was always there. He's been around for seven long years. Of course. Come on. Chip, let's help you out with this new fit. In the beginning, they were really tight. But when it came to happen, they were really fight. So we came along one short night to turn upon them some more light. Now here in the future, we plan to demonstrate the way it ought to be done. Dress them purple, blue, and red.
<laughs> oh my word, with blinds and bed sheets. How do you sleep in them? They're making me dizzy. And then this heat plays. <laughs> Okay, just remember, no 
as you guys like to think. Good night. Don't go. I miss you. It's all right. We'll be checking in soon. Good night. All right. We'll work that one we talked about, okay, Sheena? I expect it to be on at least pay. I don't know. 2342 by your next visit. So if you're free on Monday nights, we also do for the adults um, solo shows. We have a solo artist that came a couple months ago and did a show about the Holocaust. His grandmother and mother was a survivor, and they wrote a book, and he brought their book to life. It was very powerful. Next up, we have Lessons My Mother Taught Me. It's a one-woman show by Mary Olivieri, and it's all lessons. She plays herself and her mother, Betty. It is hysterical. It is an 18-plus show. <laughs> um, it's Mother's Day weekend, so it's a great thing to do with your mom. There's a Sunday show for Mother's Day, a Friday, and a Saturday night show. If you want to come, you can buy tickets uh, by calling the Park District or stopping in. Okay, enough about that. You guys, that was awesome. Any right. questions? Any questions? Can I come out here and ask? Did I come out here and ask? <laughs> no, I did not. But you and act a lot. I do act. Any questions for the uh, for our actors? No. Oh. No. 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 Yes. How did um, today compare to yesterday? How did today go compared to yesterday? Raise your hand. Yeah. Yesterday was more just letting like all of our energy out. Today was the same, but just like we actually took our time with it. Yep. I think you're out there. Yeah. I think absolutely. The opening night jitters were gone a little bit. One second, you had me. Um, yesterday we were stumbling a lot. Yesterday we were stumbling a lot, um, but today we are not because we 
you know, already did the soap. Yeah, you chilled out a bit, right? Yeah. Trusted yourself a little more, yeah? Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. And also I had to pee the entire time. Great. <laughs> So it's hard to learn, but once you learn it, like today they weren't as nervous because they had yesterday mm -hmm. under their belt. Any other questions for the actors? Yeah. What do you like about acting? Ooh, what do you like about acting? Joaquin, talk to them. That you get to play a lot of roles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People who are different than you, yeah? Mm -hmm. Great. Hey, what what up? Yeah. 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 Uh, that, uh, that you can be free. Mm. Oh. That was deep. It's like wow. living in a different world. Yes. Mm. Creating a whole different world. Did you have a hand up? Uh, what, what else? I bet you for a little bit you can be someone that's not you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fun? Right? It's funny. Did, did, did you have a hand up? Yes, go. Um. Mm -hmm. I like that we get more experience coming out. Someone outside of yourself, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Theater is, um, I've been doing theater since I was very, very young. And again, don't look at me. I'm not telling you my age. <laughs> Neil's been trying to figure out my age for about two years. Um, but not only does theater give you confidence, it, 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 it goes throughout your whole life. They're going to take the mm. eye contact into a job interview. Mm. They're going to take the confidence mm. in that they can do this into meeting people. Uh, my children were in theater, and when they went off to college, when they had to go on interviews for scholarships, yeah. it was making eye contact, believing in themselves, how do you handle the fear, all of that that plays into it. And not every child is going to throw a ball. Not every child is going to pick up an instrument. So <coughs> theater is a place where everyone is accepted for who they are, right? We don't try to change anybody um, unless we're changing them into a character that they're playing. So the growth that I've seen in these students over the last 12 weeks, and some of them have been with me for a couple of years, just, it, uh, I love them. I love them. And so I thank you very much for sharing your kids with me. Don't look at me every time. Um, it changes theater, change theater, change theater changes lives. Oh, thank you, Bailey. Ah. It changes lives. So, do we have any more questions for the actors? Hey, that's my job. I have one. Yes. <laughs> I think what, oh, and it doesn't have to do with the play, but what, what is like your favorite thing that has happened while you guys have been here in rehearsal? Ooh, that's a great question. Oh. Like something maybe you learned about yourself or anything like that. Right? What? Every mom. Oh. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I, like it. I like it. Somebody, did you have your hand up? No? Yeah? That costume can be very hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. The play. You mm -hmm. like the play a lot. This. Mm -hmm. This this whole experience? Yeah. I'm saying where there's a live audience. Oh. So you like this, the play is being performed. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Cordelia. Mm -hmm. I like the and I like the party at the end of each show. <laughs> 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 cast party's rule. Cast party's rule. Yeah, Sunday we'll get a cast party. We have a cast party tomorrow. We sure yeah. do. Is there any other questions yeah. you have for the actors? Okay. I'm going to allow the actors to stand up. You can get pictures with them if you'd like. And then. Anyway, you want to autograph on me? <laughs> <laughs> 